Welcome back to the Ring Show, featuring Ring and the Talking Cat. Mostly Ring. Hey, hey! Stop talking to me! <sighs> Gosh, this cat! Somebody get rid of him! I swear. Okay, I want the chest because in the beginning, what the heck is this? Okay, so now I can't abuse. Get out of my way! My turn. I also have craft now. Arc slash. What are these things we do? I wonder. Stealth frog. Stealth frog? Because they're hiding under a leaf? Is that why they're stealthy? Oh. Wait, what happened to my enemies? I just see nothing but leaves here. Oh, they're frogs. Okay. Forget about this. That stray has played out for far too long. Rude. Maybe not the worst thing they're gathering together. Too slow. Here go. Okay. There. Just trying to get my fighting legs back. Let's move. Ha! Let's move. Sit. I want to keep my ass crap. Need to hurry and find the others. <sighs> this is stressful. You're not even doing anything, you're just like watching. Watching me masterfully navigate through all the enemies. Like a blade going through a bunch of leaves. Let's heal. Where's my healing? There we go. There. No, what am I doing? This is entirely wrong. There we go. God damn it. Don't want to fight this bird. I just want the chest. Can we just get the chest, please? Okay. 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 Oh no! Get out of my way! My turn. That's okay. Only two of them. Hmm. It's actually faster to cast an art than to attack. I guess it doesn't really matter. What's the worst they can do? Freeze me? Yeah, Let's please. Move. Please, Bird. Huh. Hoping that will do more damage. My but turn. I guess. Dead. My turn. Can I get a heal? Yes, perfect. Oh, Let's look move. at this baby. Ha. Jackpot time. Here I go. You might have talents, but I have talent. My turn. I need to hurry and find the others. <sighs> this is stressful. Doesn't make any battery if you say that after every fight. All right. I'm gonna speed up time a little bit. Don't worry, she's gonna be mad for like one day. <sighs> I'd asked this before and didn't get an answer. Probably because I was bombarding you with question after question, but better late than never, I guess. Just what are you anyway? <laughs> Why are you even talking? Why do you know so much about everything? And don't even think of saying you're just an ordinary cat. Because last time I tried talking to a cat, it did not talk back. Last cat you talked to was was uh, Celine. Oopsie! <laughs> totally forgot about that, didn't I? Oh no, I hate this. I hate this already. I'm what you'd call a familiar. I'm not familiar with this. I faithfully serve the witches of the Hexen Clan and aid them in fulfilling their duties. Witches? As in the witches in Erebonian legend? Also, what is Emma's duty? First, the Great Night legend turns out to be based on a true story. Now this? I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. Truth is uh, often stranger than fiction. Well, you know what they say. Truth <laughs> is stranger than fiction. Apparently I'm a cat. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. I'm not going to try and convince you. But I can't be a cat, I'm a bird. Well, I've got no real reason to doubt you at this point. So, do you serve Emma then? 
Rather, does that mean she's a witch? Took you long enough to figure that out. She's still a novice, but she is a witch, yes. My job's more to keep an eye on her, though. Finally makes sense now. All those crazy weird things that happened. We did always get the sense that there was more to Emma than meets the eye. Yes, we were right. <laughs> oh, Ring. But her being a witch? You're so adorably dumb. It's surprising. But then again, the more I think about it, the more it makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> He's so pleased with himself. Hmm? What's with the goofy grin? I'm breaking character. It's nothing. Cannot. This cannot happen. I must be serious. Anyway, let's get going. I must go find my friends. I must ignore the cat. Okay, let's see. Obviously the exit is all the way ahead. I can't- oh my goodness. I am so broken over the fact they nerfed him. Ah. Get out of my way! Here I go! Okay. What is the thing that hits the most amount of times? Arc Slash hits once. Gale hits one every single time. This is hit once? I'm trying to find something that hits multiple times so that I get more out of the set hit the hop. Might as well have time to try some of these other stuff. That doesn't seem like it. Here I go. But whatever. Here I go. I need to hurry and find the others. Come on. I won that fight without even giving the enemy a turn. Why is it stressful? Trust me a little here, will ya? Ah, it's a freaking rock. Rolling by rock again. Can I get past him? Or can I get even? Oh. Enemies in sight. Ready to go? Here I go. Wait, are they trying to do like this persona thing where you have the navigator? Focus, activate. Yeah! She's like Teddy. Here I go. Exactly. I hope she doesn't start making like weird cat puns. How does that? Yeah. I need to hurry and find the others. Oh, this is stressful. For real? Proxy puppet. They give you that basically to put on. In case something really bad happens, so I'm gonna put it on right now. When I find something better, I'll take it off. Used to be I always save it, because eventually you can turn a number of proxy puppets into like a real item. Uh, but I realized that at some point, I never bothered to really get more of them. So it's kind of pointless. So especially, I think it's much more useful to use it in the beginning, when they actually mean something. Nope, not fighting yet. I don't have my... Turnaround time. I used to be like a really nimble little sports car, but now I'm a tank. So I can't make those turns. There's a, a boss fight coming up. I hope everyone at the academy is safe and sound. That's what I feel about this. Not to this. mention Elise, Princess Alvin, Prince Oliver too. Ha! <sighs> chest, chest. I hope there's something good in here. Open sesame! Celestial bomb. That's a good thing that I never use. It's a fantastic item, but I never use. And I never sell it because I'm like, someday I will use this. Get out of my way! I didn't even know what my he's gonna have to say. That's disappointing. No. His crafts are so small. I kinda hate it. Let's scale. This is actually bad. Ow! No, don't freeze me, please. Let's move. They're doing less damage now, though. Gale does seal, but this is actually the best. Oh, I missed. Oh. My turn. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like any of this. There. 
Let's move. Okay. Need to make up for lost time. No big deal. There's a saving point. I mean healing point coming up. Maybe I can get to level 41 before then. I don't know if it actually matters. There's a boss fight, but I think we'll be okay. Maybe. You know what? Let's be safe. We'll fight this guy. We skip the last one. This one is it's ripe for taking. Okay. Can I do it? I might still be able to do it. Let's try it. Oh no! Get out of my way! Let's move! So close. Second four. I shouldn't be using Gale in this situation. Doesn't really help. Closer. Here I go. That's the reason it doesn't come. Well, I would like to say. Here I go. We need to collect a little more CP than what I have right now. Here I go. Okay. Not too bad. Let's we'll take it. Goodbye. I need to hurry and find the others. Oh, this is stressful. Stop saying that. You're making me stressful. I need to get my strength back. I need to eat my lunch. I need to buy a lottery ticket. I need to restore world peace. I need to rest. Let's take a bet. How many episodes does it take for Ring to get out of this godforsaken place? How many times will he say, I need thee to do X? It's another mountain! Yodeling! I've been here before! I'm a mountain boy! Master Ka-5 brought me here as part of my training. How convenient. That's the name of your former instructor, right? Yeah. He was the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School of Swordsmanship that I follow. Is this also the place that he went ogre? Ogre mode? His full name's Master Yoon Ka-5. Though most just know him as the Sword Hermit. Okay. Man, when was the last time I came here? Must have been... I don't know, five years ago. I think he's 17 now, so that means when he came here last time, he was 12. In fact, if I remember right, my hometown of Ymir is only a few hours away. Okay, very convenient. Oh, really? Well, that's convenient. I am not a cat, I swear. You Believe me, believe me, you guys. Wanna head there? We might be able to get there by sundown. If we hurry, yeah. As soon as we get to Ymir, I want to try and gather information on what's been going on. Uh-oh. What was that? It feels like it's coming closer! That's the several hours. It couldn't be. What? Hey. Yeah. You got some real sexy joints. It's a magic knight! I don't know, man. You know what that thing is? They're magic golems made during the Dark Ages, and they're incredibly strong! And incredibly fashionable. Damn it! what's one doing here? Hey guys! Uh, I was on the way to the party, but I... But I'm lost! Can you give me directions? We need to get out of here, now! No, I, do, I just... Chance against it on your own. I just want to find the bar. Maybe not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. Oh, boy. You idiot! You're still recovering! You don't stand a chance! That's what my mother said. We'll see about that. All I know is that it's standing between me and everyone I care about. I, I just want a drink! So if getting to them means taking this thing on, so be it! Unbelievable. Oh. Alright, I'll fight you. But I'm tough! 
Bring it on. Bring it on. Success. Let's move. Okay. Well, for this kind of fight, we need to start with buffing. Let's do this. Ow, he hurts. And he's also a lot faster than I am. Oh, and he's a lot... Apparently, it misses a lot more than I do. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna have to abuse the delay a little bit, I think. Okay, let's see. My turn. Let's see if he... He's actually... We cannot abuse the delay, because he doesn't have much weakness to it. Alright, so let's do this then. We have double buff, which means time is right. The reason I did that, okay. This is gonna be a long fight. If I can survive, that is. Oh no! I'm not doing that much damage. Here I go. Okay, let's think about this. I don't want to waste my turn of strength buff, so I might hit him and then spend the next few turns basically hitting myself. Let's go for it. My turn. All right. So now we can heal. Actually, is he weak to fire? Not really. We need to heal ourselves though. This is actually the healing actually has much smaller delay. Uh, yes. And that doesn't really do that much damage. Here I go. Okay, so what we need to do? I need to nav navigate this to a point where I might be able to get um, yeah. that crit turn. Let's see if we can we can actually make this happen. Miss. Here we go. Can I do it? I can't. Probably not going to do a whole lot of damage here. But the important part is that he doesn't get it. Disactivate. Huh. Let's, let's move. Not too bad. Time to buff again. We need to get well. And now I have to think about it, the buff may not be particularly useful. Because the only thing that I would need it for is I need to have it while I'm doing S-Craft. But if I buff twice, then I will be completely out of CP for the time you know, when that actually makes a difference. So what I'm going to do instead is just basically leech a little bit more CP by doing this. Whatever, man. Let's move. I've seen better. Ha! Let's move. How do I get the heal? Eighty-six. It takes sixty to basically double buff. I have to. I think I have to get over a hundred for that to make any sense. So let's try it. Maybe I wait a little bit longer because I really want to be able to do it on a double. Uh, you know, full 200 CPS craft. So let's stick with Arc for now. I think that does more damage anyway. Yeah. Okay, now it's a full heal. My turn. That's a delay of 10 if I cast an Arc, but if I hit him, it's a delay of 42. That seems unfair. Arcs are so much faster. The problems I will run out of EP doing this. Oh, well. More damage, more damage. My turn. Yeah. I don't know, man. You got any tr more tricks? Let's move. All right, let's do this. This is a good time. Here I go. Okay, so if I hit him and then refresh, let's actually check this out. Alright, so now if I refresh the buff, I wonder if it's still two turns or it gets still three turns again. Let's do this. Okay, it goes to three turns. So the most effective way is to single buff, single buff, and then wait until it's only half one turn left, 
and then do the second buff. That would be the best way to get myself. You know, I don't like this. Let's hit him. I don't want him to heal. That's the most important part. Here I go. Oh, hey. Can't say no to that. It's a waste of a turn, but I'll take it. Because of this. Uh oh. Bartender! My attacks are barely putting a dent into it. I did about 30,000 damage, thank you very much. We're so close to you here, too. I told you this would happen. Get back! It's like playing golf. Celine! Alright, Ogre mode, please. Lose. Not here. Not without seeing everyone again. Aim for the joints. Hey, Milliam. Milliam. <laughs> Not today, buddy. What? That's a grand cross. See you later. Cross crusade. No. Cross crusade. Not grand cross. What's grand cross? Cross Crusade, one of the arts I've cast at least once in the first game. A Laura specialty. Also, I like how that that, that was done. Cross Crusade has the effect that cracks the ground underneath you, and so conveniently that was incorporated into storytelling. Are we safe? Who did that? Rain. Ring? Rain. What? Oh my goodness! How? Also, Toval. Mr. Cross Crusade himself. Oof. Made it without a second to spare. Please. I only had to do 2,000 more damage. Good to see you're still in one piece! I'm so glad we hurried. I don't want to even imagine what could have happened if we weren't in time. You aren't hurt, are you? I don't know. <laughs> Your Highness? And Toval. Stop ignoring. And yes, thank you. Rain, stay right there. I'm gonna jump over this cliff now. Please tell me you're all right. You look so exhausted. It hurts inside. It hurts so much. Who's she? <laughs> Your girlfriend. Please, it's really you. I can't believe that. Ling does not know who Elise is, considering, you know, she let Elise into the, the trial room in the old schoolhouse in the first game, knowing that she was also an awakener. I feel like I'm dreaming. Inconsistent. I expected you to come all the way out here. Inconsistent storytelling. Rain, please. There's no need to speak right now. Save your strength. We'll take you back to Ymir just as soon as we've seen to your injuries. My injuries in my soul. I'm just so glad you're all right. But how did you know I was here? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was dangerous. He almost fell on his sword. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're about to faint, never hold on to your sword. Toss it aside. As my consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. If you hold on to your cutlass, you might cut your lass. Wait. A voice with all the gravity of steel, and yet a strange sense of familiarity, of warmth. That boy and ain't as I right. Listened, I could feel myself being beckoned towards the wheel of fortune. 
Dost thou desire the power? I, I don't know. Uh, ask me again. Angry ring. Punish ring. Hey, who is this handsome boy? It's like every game there is, Crow gets more beautiful. It's ridiculous. I think I know. I'm gonna put Elliot in a... Uh, in a stealth dress. Because he's the closest to like a staff user. Also, closest to hair color. Also, closest to looks. I give him 85 points. George Gnome, or G Gnome as you know him. <clears throat> What if Valimar actually turns out to be like a real handsome prince? It's like, I'm actually alive inside of the suit of armor. Duvali! Duvali is the greatest. McBurn is the hottest, he has that, you know, sexy teacher look, it's ridiculous. Hmm. Wonder why so many JRPG protagonists use a sword. I kinda wanna see some newer weapons. Like Estelle's staff, very refreshing. Castlevania games, the whip. I like the whip. I wish there were more, more whip users. Where am I now? <laughs> I keep having these bad dreams and waking up in a very unfamiliar place. I need to stop drinking. Selene, this looks just like my room. Yeah, you look just like my cat. It is my room. I knew it. I'm back in Ymir. I'm finally back home. Close that window, man. It's cold. My memories are kind of hazy now, but I think that means everything that happened in the mountains... <laughs> I'm not a cat, please. Oh, you finally woke up? Maybe that's maybe that's because uh, you know Celine is the most sensible person in this entire game, just like your narrator. Yeah, just a second ago. How about you? Feeling better after a cat nap? 100% voice of reason here. Hmm, I guess. A entire fountain of rationality, if you will. I slept more than I meant to, actually. You're awake. You're a talking cat. Elise! Okay, head pat, T minus five. Um, good morning. Actually, it's probably closer to noon now, isn't it? Uh, might as well just run through the entire day. <gasps> Elise? Oh, I'm so happy that you're awake! You don't know how scared I was! How long... how long was he sleeping this time? There was all the chaos in the capital, and then we lost all contact with you! We had no idea where you were! I'm just so... so relieved! I'm sorry. I'm sorry for worrying you so much, Elise. You're not actually sorry. You just want to find your friends. You don't need to apologize. 
Actually, he... If he had his way, he would have gone back and killed himself. Uh, I knew that somewhere out there you were alright, and that you'd come back safe. This is all lip service. Welcome home, Rain. It's good to be back. And thanks. <laughs> I see our two little lovebirds are as Twitter-pated as ever. Twitter-pated? Is that like getting constipated on Twitter? Pardon? Good morning, Reen. And to you as well, Elise. Does anybody say Twitter-pated? Once, I, I don't remember when the last time I heard that phrase was. Hey there. Just swinging by to see how you're holding up. You're here too, your highness? Oh, please, don't call me my highness. I'm just, uh, Mr. Cross Crusade. Oh. I'm really not dreaming, then. Oh, you're, you're not talking about me. Okay. Oh, you're so silly, Reen. I would have thought the warmth of your dear sister pressed against your chest was proof enough of that. Y your highness, please! Let's be honest, you want a hug too, don't you? Come into my bro bosom. <laughs> I've got long arms like a condor. Don't ignore me. I'm here too. Well, I'm just glad you're up. How are you feeling? Still sore? You've been fast asleep since we brought you okay. back here yesterday. Much better. Last time was one entire month. This is one day. I don't have any serious injuries, at least. But I doubt I'd be able to say that if you hadn't come when you did. Thanks, Toval. I suppose I owe you my thanks, too. What? A talking cat? That art of yours didn't come a moment too soon. <laughs> You're both very welcome. I just didn't want to give these two young ladies anything to cry about. Oh, please. You can't play that role. Aww. You're a nerd. Not a... not a player. I see you're finally up. Now, here's Mr. Player coming up. Dad! Mom! Hello, Reen. It's wonderful to see you back home. I imagine you have plenty of questions running through your mind. But first and foremost is getting you something to eat. I'm gonna eat my pride first, thank you very much. We can discuss what to do from here on out after that. Awesome. Mother dear, you're looking uh, very nice. Pop has got a little bit of stubble going on, but that's his style. That's just Pops. Did it say funicular station? It is funicular station. Everything seems to be like very old fashioned here. Including the foot bath. I'm glad we came here by the way. The first game had this little section where we went to Emir, but we didn't get anything. Okay. Well, it took him a month. So he... okay. So Olivier most likely is out there somewhere. Um, so she's here. I wonder what happened to... gosh, Cedric, right? Cedric was the crown prince's name. I wonder where he is. I guess he didn't get out, because nobody cares about him. Also, you know, uh, the king and the queen are not real people, so they're probably still in the capital. I have to imagine, given sort of the the dexterity of the Noble Alliance, there's no way that they don't know, you know, these people are hiding here in the air. He's fine. He's not going to down. Yeah, 
กวีสดเรดไม่ไม่ทวอลอาร์ยูเดนยูครอว์ยัมยูโน่ว่าฉันต้องการยูโน่ว่าฉันยูโน่ว่าฉันต้องการและยูโน่ว่าฉันมีแต่ฉันต้องการโอเคนั่นก็ไม่เป็นไรนบดี้ถูกฆ่า It's all my fault. If I had been a little bit stronger. Yeah, I'm sure they're all okay. Those are not common people that we're dealing with. Heck, if Tova can get Prince Alfin out of there, I'm sure. You know, Sarah. The Aran Bracer, and basically the entire faculty who are like monsters by themselves, will find some way to get out of there. Well, if Emma's alive, everybody else must be fine. Man, I wish Familiar came with a GPS ser GPS service. You're more, even Alexa's more useful than you are. Wait, but what if she is Alexa? Well, he did like fall into a coma for an entire month and almost died, but that's beyond the point. <sighs> Ring, you just don't get it, man. Sister, so happy to see you. Like, nope, I'm my own person. I don't know why I'm talking like this right now. But hey, depths of despair. Nice vest, very fashionable. I kind of want to get a vest like that myself. Shame about you know the diagonal belt though. Also, event markers. Got it. Okay, X button. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look at my boots. Those like they're not quite Uggs, but they're pretty close. But they got belts on them. That's that's what rings all about, Mr. Belt Man. All right, so uh, let's check the map. What we're gonna do? Is we will end this episode here. Next time, we're going to explore the town and say hello to the old faces we haven't seen in a while. Thanks for watching. See you next time.